everyone! This video will be more practice on graphing linear inequalities. In the examples in this video, the inequalities you are given will not be in slope-intercept form. Therefore, you need to manipulate the inequality to make it into slope-intercept form. Now we can do this because we've practiced that with our equations. However, I just want to remind you of one very important rule. And here it goes. If at any point you multiply or divide by a negative number, the inequality sign flips. Okay, and we'll practice that. Let's take the example x minus y is less than or equal to 4. This is not in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, so we need to change it. So we go ahead and we'll, we want the y to be all by itself. So we're going to subtract the x. The x's cancel and we're left with negative y. It's less than or equal to 4 minus x. That's just the same thing as negative x plus 4, so that's how I'll write it. Alright, now is y by itself yet? No, because it's got that negative sign. So we're going to divide everything by negative 1. Oh, but wait! We're dividing by a negative number. So what's going to happen to the inequality sign? It's going to flip. Just for the sake of room, let's do it over here. Negative y divided by negative 1 is y. Our inequality sign here will flip. So instead of less than or equal to, it's going to be greater than or equal to. Negative x divided by negative 1 is just x. 4 divided by negative 1 is negative 4. And this is the inequality we are going to graph. So let's go right ahead and graph that. Our y-intercept is negative 4. Put our point there. And our slope is 1. So up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. We do that through the whole graph. Now if we remember from our previous video, this is a solid line because of the equal to component of this inequality sign. Now our last step is to pick a test point. My favorite test point, 0, 0. So let's plug that in and see if 0, 0 is a solution. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 4. This is a true statement. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 4. So 0, 0, the point that we picked to test, is a solution. So therefore, we are shading the portion of the graph that includes the 0, 0. Let's try another one. We have x plus 3y is less than 6. Now again, this is not in our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So we need to manipulate this inequality in order to get into that form. x plus 3y, we want the y to be alone, so let's go ahead and subtract that x away. Let's cancel, we're left with 3y is less than negative x plus 6, which is just the same thing as 6 minus x. Alright, the y is not by itself yet. It's being multiplied by 3, so we're dividing everything by 3. Let's do that over here. These cancel. We're left with y is less than negative x over 3 is just negative 1 third x plus 2. This is the inequality we are working with. And we did not divide or multiply by a negative number, so that's why our inequality stayed less than. Okay, 
So graphing this one, we have our y-intercept at 2 and our slope at negative 1 third. So we're going down 1 over 3. Down 1 over 3. And in the opposite direction as well. Now this inequality sign is just plain less than. It is not less than or equal to. Okay? So our line is going to be dotted. All right, now our last step is to pick a test point. I like to try 0, 0, just because the math is easy. So let's go ahead and test 0, 0 for our x and y. So plugging that in, we have 0 is less than negative 1 third times 0 plus 2. 0 is less than 2, which is a true statement. That means 0, 0 is a solution to this inequality. So therefore, we're shading the portion of the graph that includes the 0, 0. Although, just as you know, you could have picked any point in this shaded region to test, and it would have come out true. Because this whole shaded region are the solutions to this inequality. Now at this point, pause the video and try this one on your own. Then play it and check back to check your answer. Okay, looking at this inequality, we have negative 2y is less than 4x minus 2. This is almost in slope-intercept form, but we have to divide through by negative 2 because it's being multiplied by y. But wait! We're dividing by a negative number, which means that the inequality sign will flip. Okay, so these cancel. We're left with y is greater than negative 2x plus 1. And that's the inequality we're working with. So let's go ahead and graph that. Our y-intercept is at 1, and our slope is negative 2, so we're going down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, through the whole graph. Now our inequality sign is plain greater than, so our line is going to be dotted. All right, now we're... Our last step is to shade. So let's plug in my favorite point to test, 0, 0, and see if it becomes a solution. So plugging that point in, we have 0 is greater than negative 2 times 0 plus 1, because we plugged in that point for our x and y. So 0 is greater than 1. This is a false statement. 0 is not greater than 1. Therefore, this 0, 0 point is not part of our solutions. So we're shading a portion of the graph that does not contain our 0, 0. And you're done. Good job.